All right, so this is the solar heater. This is my update, uh, year six, and uh, it's still working great. It's actually blowing out good air. Um, it's got a fan here. It's got a fan on this side, which is an inlet fan. This is a, a house thermostat that I kind of rewired. The wire runs inside. You set it to cool instead of hot. And then you basically set it down as low as you can and turn it on. And uh, if somebody wants to know how to do this, I can, I can tell you how to do it. It's not that hard. But I ran the, the wire in there with a, a little temperature sensor on it. And um, it basically will cut on the fans when it reaches that. This is a purge system with a bilge blower. That'll open when the bilge blower blows in. Let's see. It's very large. That's the little temperature sensor right there. Yeah, so still works good. Everything is like creating heat. Let's go outside and I'll show you. The sun is out today. It's very nice out, actually. But it is cold. And uh, this is the solar heater, and it needs a little bit of work. You can see right here, the paint peels off a little bit. Chip there. I actually repainted it. I already put one layer on there, but uh, kind of messed up there, so I gotta redo it. You can see it on the edge here where I repainted. So I gotta put another coat on it. But other than that, it looks good. It's still working great. Did that the other day. And uh, this inlet and outlet wiring runs to here, actually runs back off that. It's uh, two 5 volt panels. 10, or 10 watt, or 5 watt panels, so it's 10 watts, sorry, not 5 volt. But uh, this is uh, what runs all the fans. And it's still doing good. I probably need to replace this battery um, this year. It's been a while, and I don't do anything to this, so I don't add water, I don't do jack. Um, it would probably last long if I took better care of it, but whatever so this is a charge controller that controls the charge to this battery so as you see this battery was bought in um, 2011 and uh, it's been in here ever since and uh, that's pretty much it there's uh, some little holes drilled along the sides of the bottom of this kind of like, like drain holes but um, Nothing ever really gets in there. I wouldn't mess around. There might be spiders in there, but yeah, nothing ever really gets in here. And then um, you can see there little holes here at the top. That's for uh, for this the battery to breathe. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Put the top on. Put that on top of that. Back on top of it, and that's it. That's what controls the fans. It's always uh, charged by the uh, solar panels, and that's what runs the system. But it's not really that hard. You could just basically run the fans off straight off a solar panel if you wanted to. So whenever the sun came up, it would just kick right on. But I like having a control unit in there. So if the room gets a little too hot, or you know, it's just a warmer day, I can cut it off. So pretty nice. That's the. Uh, solar heater I'm gonna do some more maintenance to it and put another coat of paint on it but it's been out here for a while so yeah that's my update all right you guys take it easy have a good one please